In this video, we're going to talk about the Income Elasticity of Demand, or EI for short. Now the Income Elasticity of Demand represents the sensitivity of the percentage change of the quantity demanded of a product, Q, to a one percentage change in income, I. To calculate the Income Elasticity of Demand for a good, we use the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula says that EI, or the income elasticity of demand, is Q2 minus Q1 over Q1 plus Q2 over 2, all divided by I2 minus I1 over I1 plus I2 over 2. Now if EI is less than 0, the product is an inferior good. If EI is greater than 0, the product is a normal good. Now if EI is in between 0 and 1, the product is a normal good and a necessity. And if EI is greater than 1, the product is a normal good and a luxury. A normal good is a product that consumers buy more as their income increases. For example, these are cars, houses, computers, etc. An inferior good is a product that consumers buy less as their income increases and by more as their income decreases. For example, instant noodles, low quality and cheap clothes, etc. Now let's look at an example. Suppose the quantity demanded for a product is 10 units when income is $5,000. The quantity demanded for the product increases to 12 units as income decreases to $4,000. What is the income elasticity of demand for the product? Here we need to use our midpoint formula. So we have EI, or income elasticity of demand, equals 12 minus 10 over 12 plus 10 divided by 2, all over 4,000 minus 5,000 over 5,000 plus 4,000 over 2. After simplifying the fractions, we have the income elasticity of demand, or EI, equals 2 over 11, all divided by negative 1,000 over 4,500. After further simplification, we have EI equals negative 0 0.182 divided by 0 0.222. After dividing this fraction, we have that EI, or income elasticity of demand, equals negative 0 0.818. Now with an income elasticity of demand of negative 0.818, this product is an inferior good because its income elasticity of demand is less than zero. Now what does this mean? This means that as income increases by 1%, the quantity demanded for the product decreases by 0.818%. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.